What a great pleasure it is to welcome to What's Next, Brighton Chidoma, who is the Senior Customer Growth Executive at Infobib. Uh, Brighton, great to see you. And uh, I can see that uh, you're looking forward to the rugby as well. We were just talking about it earlier. It's going to be an exciting tournament. So uh, may the best team win. I think it's going to be superb rugby this year. I wish I was in France. Thank you very much, Aki. Yes, man. Um, something very exciting coming up. Um, also, something very exciting as well for me being on this uh, on your show today, and I uh, really appreciate the opportunity. No, it's a great pleasure. It's a great pleasure. Listen, you've been in the business for a long time. You really are passionate about customer success management, and and you've got a career that's kicked off in sales and digital communications, and and you've just witnessed this exciting digital evolution that's taking place on digital channels, especially in the CX space. Uh, we're here to talk about InfoBip and in particular to talk about, uh, you know, RCS. Uh, let's start off by saying, uh, d describing what exactly is RCS. Okay, thank you, Aki. So RCS uh, stands for Rich Communication Services. So this is basically a SMS version 2. Um, so everything that you can do on SMS basically on steroids. So you can now be, you're now able to send uh, visuals, you're able to send GIFs, you're able to send uh, videos uh, over RCS. So all rich content can now be sent over this channel uh, to your end, end customer. Yes. So that's, that's, a, that's a big jump, you know. So no more boring SMSs with just text. These texts now basically come alive um, you mentioned GIFs. Uh, did you say video as well? Yes, video as well. Wow, that's amazing. So how, why is it so important to take note of RCS? I, I mean, I imagine just from myself as a customer, to receive rich content like that automatically makes me look at the content, uh, you know, more assertively as opposed to just getting a text and, you know, shrugging it away. Precisely. So RCS is really a game changer, especially in the B2C uh, sector, where companies want their brands to be known and their brands to be to be trusted by the end customer. So first of all, one of the most important aspects of RCS is that each brand needs to be verified by Google before they can start uh, communicating with their customers. So this okay. means each yes, yes. So this generally means each brand is going to have a verified badge with the with the blue tick verified by Google, and then on to further on to that as well, it's, it's way more interactive, like you mentioned, than a normal uh, SMS message. Okay. I mean, th there must be other things as well um, that RCS is better than SMS. Uh, just from a visual point of view, uh, are there any other points that I've missed in terms of it being better than SMS? Yes, certainly. So, so with RCS, um, anything that's available on Google, so things such as uh, Google Maps, these things can be embedded into an RCS message. So take, for example, in the fi finance industry where a customer wants to apply for a loan, you know, or you want to entice your customers to apply for a loan or a credit card, businesses can actually now send through a message with the visualization of that customer's bank account when their loan is approved. You know, which is something that is a bit more enticing for the customer as well. You know, um, there's also location location uh, capabilities in, in RCS where a customer can search for the closest branch or closest ATM and ask the message will pop back in and show them where the closest branch to, to their current location is. Wow, that is that is amazing. Does it use, um, I mean, I, I imagine it's using data of sorts. Um, and if so, how much data does it... And, and, and I mean, can you predetermine how long you want the message to be, for example? Are you able to customize it to that degree? So, so it does use data. Um, so it's just your general data, same as you'd use uh, for WhatsApp. So unfortunately, if you do not have data, you will not receive uh, the RCS message. But the okay. good thing is businesses can, uh, especially through platforms such as InfoBip, you can create what's called a fallback message. So if a message doesn't deliver to the device within a set period of time, or if that device is not Android enabled, it will fall back to a normal text message and your customer can still get that text message with the link. Oh, okay, okay. So that solves that one. And I imagine that once you go into an area and you connect to Wi-Fi, that message will download as well uh, automatically. Yes. Now, 
Tell yes. me more about the, the rich media benefits. And, and this is for me what's exciting. And how you integrate RCS into your customer experience strategy. Certainly. So with that rich media aspect, you know, just that visualization, people buy with their eyes, you know, so no longer do you get that boring text with the with the link that you have to click on uh, that it's going to redirect you to another page. Most people don't trust those anyway. But with RCS, because of the rich media that's on there, you're already visualizing what the brand is advertising to you. And from there, you can easily click on the video or you can continue a conversation with the brand because with RCS, it's not just one-way communication as, as it is with SMS. It's actually two-way communication. So okay. brands, can, yes. So brands can embed um, buttons in there to make it easier for customers to respond. You know, no longer do they have to type out a whole text back to 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 a business or an email. You can have buttons in there that says, "Would you like to take out a loan?" Yes, no, and the conversation can continue. Another great aspect of um, RCS above SMS, it costs four times less than a normal SMS. Hang, so wait, hang on a second. Hang on a second. Did you just say that it costs four times less than an SMS? Yes, wow. precisely. Now, how, so how do you get that right? Yeah. So, so because everything is going over the, the Google Cloud, you know, so, okay. so yeah, so at the moment it's 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 much, much cheaper. And you know, in the context of an SMS, it's not something that we all think of, you know, because it's it's such a small amount, but think of a large financial service that has got over five million uh customers. Mm. You know, that that can be that can break the bank uh, at the end of the month. But now if you're paying four times less, it's uh, it's, it's it's really something amazing. And then are there any other ways that you can think of that uh, you can integrate this RCS into your customer experience? You mentioned that it's two-way, which is brilliant. And you mentioned that, you know, you can continually stay engaged. So I might click on something and I want to click on something else that I've seen. And that video will just be pulled into my phone, right? Yes, precisely. So the good thing about RCS, uh, like I mentioned, it's two-way enabled. And wh yeah. what's also amazing is that you can add catalogs onto your RCS messages okay. because of the rich media component, you know. So not just you leading your customers to your web page for their shopping, they can actually see your entire catalog via your RCS so that when they land on your landing page, they already know what they want and they can add it to the cart and check out. So that customer experience and engagement from when the customer starts their journey to them checking out has become so much quicker and so much easier through this uh, new yeah. channel. So what happens if you send an RCS message to a phone that doesn't support it? So like I mentioned before, there is the, the fallback option. Uh, so to SMS, right? So yes, to SMS. So currently, RCS is not available on iOS uh, devices. So those are Apple devices, right? Okay. But um, given the demographics of South Africa, around 80% of cell phone users or smartphone users in South Africa use Android devices. So that are the 20%, yes, that are the 20%, uh, you can still reach them through the fallback SMS. Okay, so so you don't support iPhone for now, but that could change in the future. So how does it work? I'm, I'm a company watching this right now and I say, okay, I need to speak to InfoBip, I need to do some campaign because this is exactly what I need. How does somebody get in touch with InfoBip? What should they be asking for? And should they be getting in touch with you? Yes, certainly. Um, they can get in, get in touch with me. They can get in touch with uh, InfoBib. And I get, all they need to say is, guys, I want to send out rich content at half the price on the market, you know, and get That's all. higher engagement with my customers. And Brighton is your man. I'll get in touch with them as soon as possible. Listen, Brighton, this is exciting stuff. And, um, and I, I love the fact that you guys can deliver this to those Android devices. What's the turnaround time, you know, and... and What's the kind of maximum? I mean, if you've got a customer who's got, say, uh, a half a million customers that you need to send messages out to, what's the turnaround time? If I come to you guys today and say, I want a campaign, can we get the campaign out as soon as Friday, for example, or in a day? And how long, how quick can you deliver that to, you know, say, 100,000 customers? Okay, so there's, there's two components to this. So, may, 
mainly because of the the security features and the verifications that have to happen in the back yes, end. Yes, of course. So, so yes, so a customer would need to provide us with a few details, so things like the a link to their website, uh, images that they uh, a logo that they want to appear on the RCS messages. And then one great feature is, and this will make everyone copy it compliant as well. We you need to have a opt out option, you know, in okay. all your RCS messages that allows customers to automatically opt out of your messages um, if they don't want to receive communications from you, which protects the business in terms of copy up. You know, so we then submit all this documentation to Google. Google verifies the the business, which can take around three to five working days. After that, we set you up on our platform. And in terms of delivering, because everything is going over the cloud, you know, you just need to upload your, your customer data and we can shoot off that information. And literally within two minutes, everyone would have received that message. Impressive stuff. Brighton Chidoma, Senior Customer Growth Executive at Infobib. Talk to them about this, uh, as Brighton describes it, SMS on steroids costing a quarter of the price. Um, and I think that's enticing enough for any brand to look at it quite seriously. Thank you for joining us, Brighton. Thank you very much, Aki. Always a pleasure.